we're gonna discuss why it's a great time to buy a pre-sale now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn ways to improve for a mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. I'm here today at the beautiful Cambria Park on the Cambry Quarter with Stanley Lamb, Realtor with Royal LePage Westside. Thank you so much for joining us today, Stanley. Thank you, John. So Stanley, I understand you've been in the real estate industry for quite a few years. Which areas do you specialize in? I specialize in the Vancouver West Side, uh, especially new construction, pre-sales, and luxury homes. It's, inter it's interesting you mentioned pre-sales because I find that a lot of buyers are asking if it's a good time to buy pre-sales. What are your thoughts? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, Right now, I would say it's one of the best times to buy a pre-sale. Uh, historically, in the past five to 10 years, uh, a lot of people have made a lot of money buying and investing in pre-sales. And it was actually quite difficult to secure a unit or especially even get you know, the unit you, you want specifically. Right. Um, also, when the market is so hot, developers actually won't offer much incentives and you really have to fight to get a good unit. Um, and you know the times have changed a little bit you know with COVID with you know market changes and a lot of government um, taxes and implementations uh, pre-sales have slowed down a little bit and we're seeing that um, some developers are starting to offer special incentives and start releasing some unreleased units and we also um, you know have quite a few project launches coming up so you have a lot of selection you have less competition and you have the ability to negotiate incentives with developers. Yeah, it's, it's interesting you mentioned incentives because we've never, we haven't heard of this for quite a while, especially for pre-sales. Yes. What kind of incentives uh, are we talking about? Yeah, so, you know, depending on the project and the developer, they would offer different types of incentives. Uh, we're seeing incentives uh, like decorative allowances, uh, free upgrades, uh, maybe parking uh, discounts or promotions like that, and um, and even a recent project by Cressy is offering uh, credit for you to customize your own unit to how you want it. So uh, it's actually quite exciting, and that's one of the benefits of buying presale. Now, one one thing that may be holding people back is people are hearing about condo insurance. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I think most people who are in the real estate industry or you know investing, they realize um, strata insurance is a very serious issue. Um, we're seeing a doubling or tripling of strata insurance premiums on uh, developments right now. And that equates to um, higher strata fees and also an increase to your own uh, insurance premiums. So the reason for that is just, you know, we're reaching a, a time where a lot of the condos and buildings out there are starting to reach, um, you know, a certain age where they do require maintenance or there is uh, water leaking issues. So we're seeing more and more insurance claims with these insurance companies and that translates to, you know, them increasing their premiums. Um, and whatnot. Uh, but the important thing about that is that uh, you do want good insurance coverage and it is very important that your strata is well managed and well funded so that it does have the ability, the financial ability to maintain or repair certain things in the building. So for some of our viewers who may be considering buying a pre-sale, yes. what would you say are the pros and cons? Yeah, so one of the, you know, the biggest pros of buying a pre-sale is, you know, your ability to leverage your money um, by having lower deposits uh, spread out uh, between a certain amount of time. You can, you know, eventually own a brand new condo with a low deposit and you secure it with your deposit and then you have two to three years of hopefully appreciation of your property. Uh, another advantage is that you, you get a brand new property 
that you are the first hand owner. You get to enjoy it brand new and you also get uh, you know, two, five, 10 year new home warranty. Um, and the other specific thing that's great is that you, know, you can actually pick the specific unit that you want in whatever floor in whichever direction and you know in resales you kind of don't have that ability you you just you know you only have what is listed on the market as your options um, so you know that's one of the you know good benefits uh, one of the some of the cons of buying a pre-sale is that um, you know you are locked into a contract and you do have money um, deposit money with the developer and um, you know, not all developers are the same. Sometimes you may not get what they market out to you. I mean, every pre-sale project gets marketed as you know extremely beautiful and, and high quality. But you know, when it comes out at the end, uh, you may not know what you're getting. Um, and then another con it would be that um, you know if if the market does go down and your the price or the value of your unit goes down well then on completion you may not be able to borrow that full you know 80 percent amount that you need for the mortgage um, but you know having said that historically in vancouver uh, appreciation is what's common and most people who purchased the pre-sale when it came to completion it was actually worth more than what they paid for originally so that's great from an investment point of view. Yeah, actually one, one thing that I've also heard about um, pre-sales that they're kind of concerned about is, is getting the mortgage. Yes. Because um, one of the things that uh, for mortgage applications is you can only do it about three to four months prior to completion. And, but many of these uh, pre-sale projects, they're closing three to four years away. So what is someone to, to do with that, with that uh, scenario? So one, one way is to ensure we do a pre-approval. Now, when, when you are putting down that deposit to purchase the pre-sale, um, we can run numbers together to have a best estimate of whether or not you can be approved based on your income and all your debts and things like that. But uh, there are some lenders who will offer firm approvals two to three years before completion. And that has come in um, to benefit a lot of people just to ensure that when they do purchase that pre-sale, it gives them a really good peace of mind to know that they are um, guaranteed uh, approved. And some lenders, they won't check credit or check employment. Um, uh, as they approach the completion date. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it, even though it's three to four years away, people can actually get a firm pre-approval mm -hmm. um, so that they have that peace of mind. That's great. So I, I understand we talked quite a bit of pre-sales. Um, is there anything that you want to add or share with people who are looking to look for, for pre-sales? Yeah, so I have a couple tips for buyers looking for pre-sales and you know, number one, I would really advise you to do your homework on the developer. Um, there are a lot of different developers out there and um, they do vary in, in quality. And it also matters with each project who the general contractor or builder is. Um, you can have developers with different projects hiring different general contractors and the, you will see the, the difference in construction quality. Um, so a reputable developer that stands by their work and their product and they are there to serve even after sales service is, is really important as well. Um, and obviously with real estate, you know, location is everything. So make sure you pick a good location. Uh, right now, it's very common um, for investors or even buyers to buy, um, you know, projects that are directly connected to transit and also have a commercial component to it. So, um, you know, that, that helps with your convenience and resale value in the future. And another thing is to, you know, just really know what you're getting. You know, there is a difference between wood frame buildings, 
um, CLT is a new 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 type of building material which is a composite laminate timber um, material and uh, obviously concrete is the higher end and preferred construction type so um, you know pick good developers uh, make sure you work with a good realtor a good realtor will save you money and give you access and be able to secure the unit that you want and um, yeah just you know do your homework you know don't 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 walk into a pre-sale marketing and just just fall into a dream because every pre-sale marketing and and presentation center is is designed to be extremely beautiful and it's really easy to kind of you know get caught in the hype or you know the the perfectly staged show homes can sometimes um you know just make you fall in love with the home right away so um the best advice I would say is to work with a pre-sale expert um, and a licensed realtor who can help you negotiate the best terms and um, you know just really do the research and homework to know what you're getting. So for, for someone who is looking for a realtor specializing pre-sales, how would they be able to get a hold of you? Yeah, so I'm really easy to get a hold of. You can always just Google my name, Stanley Lam. I go to website at stanleylampreC.com and my telephone number is 604-773-3201. Always welcome to give me a call or a text message anytime. I will reply to you and would be really happy to help you. And there you go. We just discussed why it's a great time to buy a pre-sell now. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, CEO and mortgage broker of Arise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.